So we're in Richford. You'd think we're in a cornfield right now, but this is just bear damage. Yeah, man. You got Henry riding and Avi. Henry's gonna ride with me in the tractor. Okay. He's all excited, but that is all bear damage right here. I don't even have to chop anything. Well, I mean, it's not very convenient. You're also getting stuck right now. She is not liking it. It looks dry. She's um, It's hard to like feel it on camera, but she is not liking it. But, I mean, where there's actually corn and not Me. a couple hundred feet of bear damage, okay. it's actually good corn so far out here. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Me. You have Mickey Mouse shoes on? But we all okay. doesn't have filled All right, though. but the rest of the corn is actually coming nice. Couple, how many acres do we have out here we're doing? Um, 20, 40, now 45 acres. <laughs> Normally where we are right now, we actually drive in with the uh, trucks to load, but it's actually just slippery, so there's going to be long hauls of the dump wagons to get to the trucks. So he's just spinning. Johan's running dump wagon. I gotta go get my whip. It's over there. What we have here is the truck drivers getting a little too ballsy. Mama. No, that's not mommy stuck. That's Uncle G. Uncle. Yeah, Uncle got stuck. And they're not even. They're, normally we drive to them, but the floater and the trailer truck, because that's what we're using in the Richard and then the Brightliner. They have floaters so they can get here, Alex and Ferdy. And Garrett decided he wanted to participate. Hey Garrett, I think you found the mud hole. Oh. <laughs> it was extremely stuck. Really gotta watch out. I think he would have had better luck up there, but that's not where he turned around. How are you doing today? I would say up here. Alright, I'm gonna go dump my load into Alex. Johan's already waiting, right, Henry? We going to mommy? Mama. Mama. We got a middle section of this field done. Do the final pass here. Kristoff miscalculated a roll right there, so there's a victory lap right there. The reason that happens is because we're not planted with GPS, so the uh, end rows of the planter are not correct. Be spaced always. Johan was making some ruts right there. Um, I don't think we're going to even sink at all. Not at all. Well. We'll have to pick up that victory lap after. Can't leave that much corn sand. If it's like five corn stalks somewhere, then we just run it over to make those fields look clean. But that right there, we gotta pick. We gave Ferdy a triple dump. So we dumped one in the front, one in the back, and then I started in the front, dumped it halfway, and then he kind of rolled forwards, and I was guiding him. I didn't record it because I was talking on the radio. I couldn't. Man, if we had pistons on my sideboards, I could just flop them up like that. Oh boy, the creativity. Dude, we absolutely love the foamy sideboards. That is something we should have thought about years ago. Big gains with that. Makes the trailer so much more versatile. Because people that have sideboards know you either take them off or you put them on like once a year because you don't care to do it all the time. And we normally only put them on for corn season, so. It's nice being able to fold them because we use it for, uh, we use it a lot more now. 
My parents are here. They're in Christos pickup, and Henry is riding around with them, just sitting in the pickup with them because they're supervising. <laughs> You can't see it on the camera, but we just had a bear run out. It's straight in front of us, just running. It's probably gonna head across the road up into the woods. See the bear? I hope so. We're doing the final six rows of this field. Johan is unhooking his dump wagon. So uh, Chris can go open up the next section. Nice ears here. Better than uh, yesterday, the field I was in. That field, that, the ears weren't the best, but this is definitely a lot better out here. So we're right there. Chris is opening up the next field. As you can see, there's no more chopping going. And there's a lot of water on the ground. You put that two things together and you probably figured he is stuck. So we'll show you what's going on back here. Nice. Oh, you gonna get it? And that is the problem with having the no weight on the rear end. Because he should easily be able to pull farther. But the way the polo dry system works on it, it pulsates the front and back on where the oil diverts. So it doesn't really pull that good. He should have easily been able to pull out of it, but there's just no, he's just pulling dead weight. But the tractor should, should be able to hopefully get it out. I don't know what the hell that honking was about. Ava's been riding with Johannes the whole time, but yeah. hey. And then uh, she hopped in here while I went and helped them. That way someone was in here with Henry. Hey. Yeah. And Chris, uh, Johannes is now pulling the wagon. Well, I think he's going to get stuck. I don't think he's going to get stuck. Four? Uh, yeah. What if yeah. the chopper gets stuck? Well, the chopper was already stuck. So you can see he's uh, cutting in pretty good there, but... Where we're dumping, we have to get out over there by the house across the road, so he's coming back across, or coming back around to be able to get dumped after. He's wheeling off. going. It's going sideways. I think we gotta fix that one. It's not good. I wanna go to Henry's You can ride with him after, right? Yep. First he's gotta get out of the way, that way we can keep going. Boy. Henry's eating all my Pringles. Right? Jeez, oh. Um. <laughs> well, we're coming up to right where Kristoff was. I have a lot less in there than he did because he did half the other side with uh, Johan. Can't really show you too much over there. 
because I think Henry likes taking the spotlight. But uh, I'm not too worried about making it through there. It ain't that bad. Yeah. Hey, Marcus. We made it. That's a question. Yeah. I just unhooked my wagon because we're going to open up the next section. Well, the wagon's empty. I think there's one more strip down. Either he'll fill it with Johan or mine after opening up. But he likes to open up empty so it's as light as possible. Because he used to use the chopper spout camera, so he'd put the spout all the way down and it would be blowing uh, corn kernels on you the whole time. You get covered in dust. Now he can put the spout to the side, he hits the button on the camera, and he can see right down and it angled a lot better. And he's on the move. So I just cleaned all my windows, then we chopped a load, and they're already starting to get dirty again. It didn't last very long. But, we're loading Alex up. This is her first dump, so she'll get one more. But it's working good with the three trucks, because we can double dump in all of them, and then sometimes, if they're not huge, huge loads in us, well, I, could, I say huge, huge, but like the normal full loads, We'll dump three into 30, and it works good too. He just rolled in right there behind us. There he is. We're opening up the last uh, field, or not the last, the second last field section. But normally, he goes all the way around with one dump wagon, but there's always a chance that he almost gets stuck at the very end when he's loaded. So we did half of it, then Chris I'm pulled it across the road, Johan unhooked, switched over, and now he's going to open up the other half with mine empty, just to make sure we have no issues. It's really hard for you guys to see, but the dump wagon's sinking in like a foot. That dump wagon sinks in back then. <laughs> Yeah, you're sinking in like a foot with a back right tire. The sun is right in your way, but he is sinking in like crazy with only doing half the way around the field. It looks like you're chopping sideways. He is struggling. It just does not make for a good time. And you can see the marks I'm making. So he's trying to drive following the rows, so he's using the brakes to steer. That fell. Um, and then he also has to steer the wheel, countering what he's braking to keep up with the rows. And then at the same time, he has to angle the chute. So he's watching about three things at once, but 
That's how it goes. This is where he was struggling earlier. too bad it's kind of hard getting all the recordings for you guys because I'm running the other dump wagon and then I can kind of only uh, get out real quick to record when I'm waiting for the chopper but I'm doing the best I can Ava's riding with Kristoff I think she's sleeping now There's kind of a soft spot where I recorded in the last clip. I think it was the last clip. A little bit up there, but it's not horrible. Now he's full and I gotta run over there. We're on the last little field, this little dinker. The year before I started YouTube, I actually buried the 200 in the center of this field. I had this, the weight block on it and everything. She had no more to go. Because uh, we tried putting it all into one load. She was a little train that couldn't. It had no more Ugga Duggas. Because this is uphill, you can kind of see it, but she didn't want to pull it uphill anymore loaded. That field's all done. Actually, we did that one a while ago. We're all done, all the fields, actually. I guess that's the right way to say it. And I think we are done for today. I am dumping my last load into Alex. Johan's right behind me. He is dumping his last load into her, too. And that'll be it for today. It is Sunday. I think the 16th, yes, it is the 16th. And that'll probably be it for today. So thanks for watching. Until the next one.